All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back to the Search Bay podcast. Today, I am joined with Relly again. How are you, mate? How you doing? Doing good. How are you, man? Yeah, it's as as we were just saying then. It has been it has been a hot minute since we've actually done something together. Yeah, a while. <laughs> well, I know my people mad at me, man. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen those comments. I, I was yeah. probably one of them. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, Where's that Cavalier content? I know. Oh, man. Oops. <laughs> I was like, what is going on there? <laughs> I had to think about it, too. I'm like, dang, why did this do that? <laughs> but, yeah, we got, we got a lot to talk about. Something that actually happened today, of course, we'll have our fair share of Cavalier's talk and all of the other stuff going on. But the first thing I wanted to open up with, we actually finally had a player actually move today. Jermichael Green has joined the Golden State Warriors, they're saying. What do, what do you think about that signing? Is that a good one? Because I'm pretty sure he got, like, deported off to Oklahoma or something. <laughs> and that's, like, the last place you want to want to get sent other than Sacramento. So he managed to find his way out. He got a buyout. And now he's playing for the, the you know, champions. So what do, you, what do you think? Is that a good move? For the Warriors? Yeah. Like... Warriors and death is dangerous. Anybody with just a little bit left in the tank is good for the Warriors, man. Um, that's why, I like, when I seen that move, when it said the Warriors, I'm like, yeah. Had it been for any other any other team, it would have been kind of like, eh. You know what I'm saying? Because Jermichael Green, he is a good role player. Don't get me wrong. He, like, he is a really usable role player. But for the Warriors, you're magnified. Because all those little small intangible things he does – it's just on a whole nother level. Yeah. So, yeah, I, it was it's a great move. What's it with them and always bringing in, like, a new stretch forward every single year? Like, a couple of years ago, they I think they brought in – it was it Jonas Jarebko? Was that his name? One of <laughs> I think it was him. Then they had Naman Bailey the last year. And these guys, like, win a championship, and they always go and play overseas. And now they've brought in Jermichael Graham. That's another one that they've added. And – I think he should be able to for sure help out and add something to them. My question is, though, because, you know, Jermichael Green, that's a good pickup. But the other player that's, you know, been kind of surfacing around, I made a video actually talking about, I think the Golden State Warriors are going to sign this guy. Apparently, they're interested in him. But DeMarcus Cousins as well, how is that guy not on an NBA roster right now? Like, I know he might not be the greatest teammate, which is, I think, clear to see because he always gets sent off from nearly every team that he's on. But surely if you're the Golden State Warriors, you're looking at a dude like DeMarcus Cousins, especially considering, like, you got teams like the Timberwolves, who we'll get into a bit later, that are, you know, generating all these seven-foot type of guys, the Cavaliers as well. Surely you'd bring in a dude like DeMarcus Cousins just in case you got one of those nights where you're like, damn, we can't run Steph Curry at the five anymore, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. surely, would, would you be interested if you were the Warriors? It de- I would, but it really depends on what they do this offseason, honestly, because uh, they still got Looney. Uh, they still got James Wiseman potentially just coming back this season, who they're going to give a couple of minutes to. But it all depends. It depends if James Wiseman stays healthy, and it also depends if they trade <laughs> James Wiseman for another trade that's luring in the air but um it depends on those two scenarios if if those two scenarios is kind of like kind of shaking for them i would sign a boogie uh but right now i don't think they needed demarcus cousins as much as demarcus cousins need them Mm. this season so it'd be kind of interesting if they actually do that this early yeah (laughs) because yeah i have people in my comments because like you know you talk about james wiseman's injury but even Kavan Looney, Kavan Looney, I think, missed the start of this season with an injury as well. And I think he had a couple issues throughout the season. There's no guarantee that either of those guys stay healthy. And, I mean, I, I don't think you'd want to run Kavan Looney more than 23 minutes per game as a center because he's really there to do a couple of things. He's there to screen, uh, I guess, interior defense as well. But it's mainly... Dude, his screen plays, like the amount of screen plays he sets for Steph Curry and, you know, all these other players is just so ridiculous in my opinion. But honestly, he's not really a high usage guy on offense. 
I think that's why they want to get James Wiseman fit and healthy. But even with James Wiseman, I feel like there's a lot of question marks. And I have a really bad feeling for the Warriors that they're going to come across a team like Minnesota where eventually their small ball might not always work. You know what I mean? I feel Mm -hmm. like what Minnesota have done is actually pretty clever. And I think we'll get into that in a bit. I saw your comment on my video the other day. I I know, I think you disagree with me on this, but I I feel like, yeah, DeMarcus Cousins on the Warriors would be another really good guy. And if you want to go down that road, that's there. But even bringing in Jermichael Green helps out with the small ball lineup. I think they've got, I could honestly see Jermichael Green maybe playing some minutes at the five next season. Of course, defensively, it probably won't work really at all. But I think he was a good get, considering they also lost a lot of players in free agency. They lost like five or six or something. So I think Green was a a very good addition. Do you see him maybe playing center minutes next year? Or maybe a a Jonathan Kaminga, does he play center minutes next year? I think for the Warriors, the Warriors are going to play a lot of intriguing lineups, right? Like every year they test somebody's ability to kind of stretch at that power forward. Sometimes Ziggy, sometimes it's, um, you know, by at least at, at that five position, you know what I'm saying? So go to state is not scared to pitch you at the five or four, but, but the, where I'm a little, I stray a little bit from you. I do not think go to state is necessarily going to have a problem with a team like Minnesota. Um, the reason being is because like, yeah. Um, that big boy lineup can be a shocker. Like we still, we do, we are starting to see some teams kind of secretly build their version of a big boy. You got the Cavs, you got the Raptors, Go Cavs. <laughs> now Minnesota. Yeah, but um, the one thing that kind of scares me about Minnesota right now with their big boy lineup is that if Golden State were to use their small ball lineup, the question is, will Minnesota defense be as consistent as Golden State offense will be? with their mm. small ball lineup. And I believe Jermichael Green, he doesn't have to average 20, but as long as he gives them like six to 10 and makes some defenders nervous, I think that's that's his job right there. As yeah. well as uh, a Jonathan Kaminga, if they pin him there. Because honestly, I think Cat can actually run at some fours, but I just don't trust Rudy Gobert running out in the perimeter with some some threatening power fours or centers. Yeah. Right, and that's the question. Like if, if Rudy Gobert... Uh, could take his defense to a whole nother level this season, and he gets the confidence to actually guard those um, those stretches <laughs> of the four of the fives. Then I yeah. think you got a you got a whole nother situation. But until then, I think he might be all right. <laughs> you got to say, might be okay. I, I, pre- I pretty much agree with everything you said. Through the wastelands, through 